Thanks, Susan. Thank you. Susan just finished up making one of the thousands of free personalized solid brass nameplates that we make here at Dogs Unlimited every year. As you've just seen, we stamp our nameplates, we don't engrave them. It actually puts a deeper impression into the metal and will offer a longer life to that nameplate. Both the stainless steel and the, and the brass version are hardened so they won't crack, they won't break, they won't bend. Stainless steel version, great for collars that have nickel hardware. Looks really, really nice. We received tons of calls from customers asking what they ought to put on their nameplate. First, it has four lines. You can either do a 332nd inch character, which is a larger typeface and offers 18 characters a line. It's the one that we prefer. You can also have a 1 16th inch character, which is very small, but will offer you up to 24 characters per line. I prefer the 332nd, the larger typeface, easier to see in tough field conditions, low light, that kind of stuff. A nameplate has one function, and that's to get the information that somebody that finds your dog is gonna need to get your dog back to you. If you think you might lose your dog in your local community, something like that, he's a fence jumper, uh, he just gets out, he's that escape artist, you may wanna have a street address as well as a city and a state. You're not gonna need the zip code, nobody's gonna mail your dog back to you. Also, phone numbers are very, very important. Cell number, home number, work number, whatever you think that you need for people to get back in touch with you. Some folks like to put on reward as a motivator. I can go both ways on that. I'm not sure I'm a big fan. The only person that's really dictating of the amount of that reward is the person that finds the dog. I'm not sure you're gonna to want to have that phone call where somebody says, you know, 50, 100, $200 isn't enough, let's make it a grand, and now you have to decide if you want your dog back which I just find is very, very tough. The one thing I do agree with is to put on there needs medication. On the bottom line, put it on there, it's a great motivator. I don't care if your dog needs medication or not, that's not the point. The point is, is you're trying to motivate the guy that finds the dog to get it back to you. If they see needs medication, they're gonna look at that and say, man, I wanna get this dog out of here. I don't need a sick dog. I don't need to take a dog to a vet. I don't need the bills for that. I don't need any of that. I just need the dog out of here. He's gonna make that call. He's gonna drop him by your house.